So one of the issues that we address with many of our clients or potential clients is the difference between being an independent contractor and being the president of, their, of your own business. Because there are a lot of agents, regardless of their station or how long they've been in the business or whatever, say, I'm an independent contractor and I can do whatever I want whenever I want to do it. And that may be true if you want to go broke. However, if you want to run a successful business, we simply can't have that mentality. So what are some of the ways that we help people with legally being an independent contractor, which is wonderful, however still running their day-to-day -day operation, their business, their schedule, as if they were the president of their own company, because they are. Well, they, they are, John, and it's a, it's a mindset shift away from, you know, being, like you said, that independent contractor mentality into a CEO mentality. And that's understanding certain key principles of your business. I think knowing your numbers and understanding what those numbers are, are very, very important. Because when one understands those numbers, it, you know, it, it really takes on a different shape and a different, right. different life. And so in understanding that, I think that's a key concept of it. But it's also, it's also understanding the uh, philosophy of, you know, am I running a business and why am I doing it? And am I truly committed to this process? Am I committed to actually achieving something uh, in the big picture, you know, instead of just the short term, well, it's just a commission check. You know, and sometimes people say to us, well, I'm only working this business part-time. Well, and, and we respond to that as, well, even if you're working the business part-time, 10 hours a week, 15 hours a week, 20 hours a week, in those 10 or 15 or 20 hours, run your business like a business. Make sure you're acting like a CEO or running your company like the president of a successful company should be should be running. You know, we urge all of our clients to to say to themselves, well, would the president of a successful company be doing what I'm doing right now? If the answer to that is no, stop doing whatever you're doing and move into income production or move into an activity that a successful owner or president of a company would be doing. Well, I would agree, John, and I would also make this point is that some people are doing this just because they're interested in it. Right. This goes back to the interest commitment quote that we use in our seminars, and I think the key thing is that for those individuals who are just interested in it, you know, and you may not like me to say this, and they don't want to hear this, but the truth is, is they have really no reason and have the ability to complain to their managers, brokers, owners, team leaders if their business is going sideways, especially if they're just interested in doing something, because it's only convenient to them when it's, you know, at, at the time. Michael, and that quote is, is a difference between interest and commitment. People who are interested in something do it only when it's convenient. People who are truly committed to something accept no excuses, only results. I agree. So there, so there are some people who are interested in this business, and that's fine. They go in and they, they go play on the computer for a little while and you know, maybe talk to the people around the water cooler and, and go to the trainings. But when it comes time to really truly do the activities necessary to work their business, sure. it's difficult for them to carry through on that. And you're saying if, if people have that mentality, then you really have no right to complain to the to the broker owner or the team leader or the manager. You have, or no, you have no right because they, because they're really not following the principles necessary to be successful in this business in the first place. Correct. However, there are those people, whether they're working ten or twenty hours a week or fifty hours a week, who are truly committed. And we know that one way, Michael. What's the way that we know whether or not someone's really truly committed to being successful in this business or just interested in it? It's the results. It's through their actions, right? Well, through their actions and the results they're getting. And so those results are dictated by their actions. I mean, we know whether someone's truly committed if they're making lead generation calls, uh, calling their past clients in sphere of influence, Correct. doing proper lead follow-up, uh, going to the, the trainings that are necessary to learn some of this information when, when necessary, um, participating in the culture of their office, I mean, all of those things. But it really boils down to are they in, the, in those income-producing activities or not?